Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting Bricks and Pieces order. So today I got a pretty wide range of pieces, so I thought we'd break it down a bit. So to start in the front row, I have eight little one by one donuts. So these are from the most recent police station and they are super cute. So I got eight of those. I was thinking about making like some sort of donut stand in the future, um, but I was also, I actually have some more donut pieces on the way to maybe try and do that. Um, and then I got two of these soda can toppers. So you can essentially, they're really cute because you can kind of put them on a Lego piece and make it like a soda can. So got four of those actually. The other two I will show you later. Um, this hair piece is typically like really hard to get actually and the only reason I was able to get it is because it's from it appears in the most recent medieval blacksmith and so since that just came out I was able to get one of these and then I believe these are from the train station um, so it's essentially like a mini Lego set like a Lego set for Lego minifigures so super cute, got two of those. I might get more later. And then I also got some more pieces from the police station. So this is super funny because it says the Daily Brick, Donut Thief Still Hungry. Um, so I thought these were super funny. So I got four of them to maybe, I don't know, make some sort of small newspaper stand later. And then I also got a couple more pieces from the police station. So these are also from the most recent police station. Obviously I built this out of multiple bricks, but the key piece is this um, kind of double cheese slope right here. So this like is about 50 cents and it's like a typewriter piece. And then I just kind of bought the rest of these pieces to finish it off. And so yeah, this is also from the most recent police station and I got, I built two of them. They're super cute. I'll actually hopefully can get some more. And then I did the same thing with a rotary phone. It's also just kind of, again, a double cheese slope piece that's printed. So everything else isn't too unique. So this is the most unique piece. So there's the rotary phone. And then I just kind of got some two like random torsos because I liked them. I did not complete any figures. This one is from one of the more recent Chinese New Year uh, sets. Uh, I wasn't planning on getting that specific one and I really wanted this torso because it has a little like sweater with the Chinese red envelopes in them, which I thought was super cute. So I wanted to get one of these. And then this is just kind of another torso I liked. The head's currently stuck on there right now. Um, but these were, I wasn't planning on making these two pieces specifically for one minifigure, but I just liked how the color of the arms were separate. And then I bought this headpiece because I thought it was super cool how they had the side print of, for, it's a hearing aid. So I thought that was a really, um, that's a newer thing that they're doing. So I thought that was really cool. So I got one of those. And then, um, this is a kayak piece. It wasn't too expensive, and even though I don't like kayaking, I just thought it was a pretty good deal, so I thought I would get one of those. In the back, I just have um, two more roller coaster tracks, because um, I was trying to build my roller coaster, and it wasn't kind of fitting together all that great, and so I needed these smaller pieces, and then I got more of these two by two flat tiles. So these actually go on the roller coaster. They're how you connect them. So you put it on here and then they just connect like that and it's super smooth. And so, um, yeah, cause I did not find enough of those last time and then I had to kind of improvise. So I just got some more of those. And then back here, I built two of these guys. So, Normally, I probably would not have seen a huge appeal for them, but considering we're in COVID, I thought these were kind of funny because um, it's essentially, it's actually from a people pack. So these are legit minifigures from an actual set. These are not custom. And 
they were in like a space one so I don't know exactly what it was for but it was pretty cool and so I built these two of these hazmat suit people I think they were actually a pretty good deal I think I built both of these for like under five bucks which is a really good deal for minifigures and then these two um they're just double cheese slopes I actually bought them to replace I'll get to this later but the gyrosphere, like see how those are printed inside of there, the Vita Rush. This is the exact same piece, um, it's just not printed, so I decided to buy just some plain ones in case I wanted to switch them out. So that kind of brings us to this. So this is a gyrosphere. Um, these are from Jurassic Park, and I really wanted one of them. Uh, so, but I, I was actually going to buy like a set just to get a gyrosphere and then I decided it was too expensive, but then I discovered that you could actually build one off of bricks and pieces. So I went ahead and did that, changed the colors a bit to make the seat a different color. So what's cool about this is it, I don't really have space, but like if you roll it on the ground, like the person sitting inside will stay sitting upright, but it'll keep rolling. So as you can see, you keep turning it, but the chair is still facing upwards. And so they're kind of fun to play around with. Um, but yeah, and so Vita Rush is kind of like Lego's Soda Crush like brand. It's like essentially a soda brand that like is their brand. It's kind of funny actually. And so I just bought those cheese slopes because why not? <laughs> because I was trying to make like a Vita Rush spokesperson. So this is a custom minifigure that I put together here. Um, I got some ripped jeans and then I got the Vita Rush like torso and then she's holding two Vita Rush soda cans so these are I had to put these pieces together so I bought these are where the extra two soda can toppers went and so then I bought these and have her holding the Vita Rush soda and yeah just kind of put together a head and some hair so I kind of thought it'd be funny if I had her sitting in the gyrosphere like labeled Vita Rush so it's complete like advertisement that's kind of what it was but she is literally like one of my new favorite minifigures I just I think she's so funny so yeah this is my most recent bricks and pieces order I have another one that I just ordered yesterday because um, I was trying to get the ATST so I decided to pick up a few pieces and so we'll probably be getting that in around a month so then I'll probably shoot another one and give you another update thanks for watching